hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's tutorial is on this valentine's day look right here and i did a poll on instagram earlier this week and you guys voted on a look that i did during the holiday time that i posted on instagram i hope you guys enjoy this video i hope you guys have a great valentine's day whether you're single or not it's just a day of love whether you loving somebody else self-love whatever enjoy your valentine's day this year and i wish you guys a happy happy valentine's day and if you want a valentine's day look that's a little bit more simple let me know in the comment section and we're just gonna go ahead and get right into this video okay so my base and my foundation and everything's pretty much done all i have to do is add bronzer blush and highlight and then i'll be finished and i will be using the morphe 39a palette i know that i'm late i know that i'm late but i will be using this palette today and in this palette it comes it's 39 shades and it is a really 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 pretty palette what i like about this palette is that it's very fall winter ish but you can do some spring summertime things with this palette so yeah i like this palette and i like this whole row i mean that can be shadows but i think that can be like bronzers and contour shades too being that I did my foundation and everything first, I'm going to take my Beauty Bakery Better Not Bitter Setting Powder. And there will be a link in my description box connected to the website so you can make your purchase. <laughs> and I'm not going to use it to bake. I'm actually going to use it and place under my eyes because with this palette being that this look is going to be consists of a lot of dark colors um i'm gonna have some fallout so i'm just gonna place some of this powder right under my eyes so if i press it that means i'm trying to bake but i'm not i'm just gonna place this under my eye to catch whatever fallout i may have i'm gonna take this morphe my trusty morphe m4 i'm gonna place it here Okay, a Morphe M412 brush. I said it this time. Ha! Ah, proud of me. I'm gonna take these two colors right here, and those are gonna be my transition colors. So, what are you guys planning to do for Valentine's Day this year? Are you gonna go out with your boo thing or your bae? What are your plans? I live in Birmingham, so it really isn't much. To really do here um we just got top golf and i've been twice but we really didn't play all we did was like eat and stuff like that but it's really nice i think that's a good place to go especially for like a first date on valentine's day or just like a first date period i feel like that's a place where you can really get to know a person like dinner in a movie is so basic like do something adventurous do something fun it can still be romantic but at the end of the day like whoever you're going with whether it's like your new boo or y'all been together for a long time like do something fun dinner candlelight in a movie that's nice and all but i want to do something fun because i took a poll on instagram and uh, it is an old picture that I posted like in December. But I kept looking at that picture and I was like, okay, maybe this can be like a really good Valentine's Day look. And I think it's really cute for like Valentine's Day. Why not? And I might switch it up. Hmm. I might do a little switcheroo. I'm gonna recreate the look, but it's gonna be a little different. So I will take this this color right here and put it right on top of on top of the colors that i used for my transition colors so and that is the color wait these colors have names taking the color create 
in this palette. And I'm gonna place that right on top of the transition color that I used. And I'm using the same Morphe M412 brush. What am I doing for Valentine's Day? Actually, I have no plans. Um, I don't know. I am a single woman, so not in a relationship, so I'm not really doing anything for Valentine's Day. I know some people, like if they're single and they don't have, you know, a significant other or just a little boo thing, like someone that they're dating, some people kind of get a little discouraged. And if you are single, don't get discouraged because I feel like being single is the time to get to know yourself. It's a time to really love on yourself and find who you are and figure out what you'll tolerate, what you won't tolerate, and type of person, type of man or woman that you want to be with. Like, it's a time to figure things out and actually it's really a good time to get closer to God and just get to know him. So, if you're single and if you, you know, don't have a date or a boo thing, girl, it's okay. Like, who cares? Enjoy yourself, love on yourself. But the only way that you'll get that person or you will survive that relationship is if you love yourself first. Two, two half people can't be together. Two whole people can be together. Cause I hate when people say, he completes me. I'm taking the color Passion right here and I am going to pop that on top of the color that I just placed on my eyes. If you're not doing nothing, it's okay. Do something by yourself. Treat yourself to something. Like, go see a movie. Go see Black Panther. Full of black excellence at its finest. First of all, we have Angela Bassett, Chad Chadwick Boseman, got his name. Go see that movie. He's in it and he is actually the Black Panther in the movie. Lupita Nyong'o, she's in that movie. And just a lot of other black superstars and amazing talented actors in this movie. And I'm actually using my Japanese a36 blending brush to place that other color, by the way. To blend out those harsh lines, I'm gonna take my Morphe M433 brush, and it is a pretty good similarity to the Japanese A36 brush, but I'm using this brush because it's clean, and I'm just gonna blend out the harsh edges. And I feel like Black Panther is gonna be a blockbuster. I'll take this really deep, dark purple shade, and this is in the shade Forever. And do I want to place this on my lid or do I want to carve out a cut crease? Okay, I know what I'm gonna do. First, I just pat, because I don't blend anything yet. I just pat the color. That's a really pretty color. I'm just gonna pat that color on, on my outer lid. I'm gonna bring it in a little bit. Give my lid a little bit of a blank canvas. My MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I'm gonna take this MAC 242 Synthetic Flat Brush here. So I'm gonna take the same brush that the dark purple color forever is on what well, and i'm not gonna dip back into it i'm just gonna whatever excess is left on the brush i'm just gonna blend it out and like blend out those edges see yeah pretty. yeah i'm gonna take this duo ended morphe m516 brush and i'm gonna place it right here and it's, I like this brush because it is a sable brush. It's duo ended, so it has one end for your lid, and the other end if you want to, and the other end if you want to do like a, in a corner highlighter. I'm gonna take this color here. It's called So Glam. I'm gonna take that 
and I'm gonna put it on my lid. When you do it, you just wanna like pack that lid color on and you don't wanna swipe it, you just wanna like pat it on. It's pretty AF. Pretty. It's really nice. Yeah, I like this. So it's really pretty so far. It's giving me like cranberry maroon vibes. But I really want to give this look a, a pop of color a little bit more. If you saw my previous video, you know how I feel about La Peach. Okay, La Peach is the business. This look took a totally different turn in a completely different direction. Uh, but it's okay. I wanna say that these lashes are by Coco Lashes and they're in the style Queen Bee. I want to say that, but we're, we're, I don't know. When I find out, I'll put it in the description box below. The same brush that I used for the shade Forever, and I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna take one of these, and I'm gonna use it to bronze up my face. So I think I'm gonna go with this shade and this shade a little bit to kind of contour and bronze up my face a little bit a little bit to my face and i'm going to use my morphe 527 brush it's great for bronze and i love this brush it's so big and fluffy and tapered but it needs to be clean and i have a pretty big forehead so i need all the forehead contouring that i can get okay the same color la peach that i used on my eyes i am going to use also as a highlighter on my face Woo! girl pretty. oh my goodness y'all know this is like my favorite part of doing my makeup is doing my highlight. It is just, seriously, like my favorite part of doing my makeup. It j I feel like it just completes everything. Now I'm gonna use my Mario Badescu Rose Water Setting Spray to set my face. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors liquid lipstick in the shade extra saucy this is from their holiday collection well actually their holiday set which i really really love but i'm gonna use this today and if you can't find if you still can't find the holiday set on their website i'm gonna send you give you some suggestions that's pretty close to extra saucy if you still can't find it on the website And this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and you know what to do. Come on. You know you wanna like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to, you can, you know, do a little comment. 
throw a little comment in the comment section. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Enjoy yourself this Valentine's Day. If you don't have a boo, it's okay. Enjoy yourself. Love yourself. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.